even I'm I'm fucking like a victim of it too. I'm gonna tell y'all something. You, white people, you wanna know black people's Achilles heel? I think you guys already know too. We are honestly the most forgiving culture on earth. I don't know why. I don't understand it. I don't fucking get it. Like we will forgive everyone for everything. <laughs> and I don't understand that shit. All right. Because there is moments when I'm like, and it's funny because we'll forgive everyone except niggas. It's the wildest shit ever. All right. So Kanye says, think, oh, think oh, that, wait, sorry. Do you think that has a lot to do with uh, self hate? Yes. 100%. And self hate instilled by these other people. Yeah, one hundred percent. That's crazy, man. One hundred. This is why it's it's so psychologically like draining because it's like it took me because I was a person. I'm gonna be honest. I was a person before I got like maybe twenty twenty one. I was a person who was like, look, I have black friends, I have Hispanic friends, I have Asian friends or whatever. To keep it a bean with you, to keep it a whole buck or whatever. Like, I'm kind of 50-50 on racism. Because I'm like, for me, I get around just fine. You know what I mean? So, it wasn't until I had to realize that, wait a minute. Your grandparents have been training you for this shit your whole life. You did go through racism. You just fucking, you compartmentalized it and you fucking flushed it away because it didn't happen. But you did have, like, uh, your fucking birth certificate stolen when you played Little League. You did have people... Try to kick you off the team because they thought you were fucking 15, 16 when you were fucking 12. All right? You did have people whose kids, whose kids' parents would tell the coach that if their kid didn't play over me, that they were going to take their kid off the team. When I was the best player on the team, you're not, that he's not going to sit me. So it was shielded from you? Yes. And people would lie to me. Right? My grandpa would never, which, like, I love my grandpa to death. He was a person who he would only he would tell me shit in bits and pieces because I, I feel like he knew my mind and like every time I, every time I did something good he'd be like hey all right now you know you, you got that curveball nice and he was like he'd be like but you know you missed a couple of those other pictures you got to stay in on that I'm like all right cool he never allowed me to get like this this and this and then like he'll tell me some shit where it was like if I was having a bad like game or some shit he'll be like man it was like those other coaches over there talking about you. How they were saying like that you were like the best athlete they've seen in years, and I'd be like, "Oh, okay, that's dope." Left lifting my spirits. That was it. He wouldn't. Mm-hmm. He wouldn't go more on that, right? Yeah. My grandma was different. All right, my grandma. She would tell me like the real, real hard shit that I didn't want. Like it wasn't that I didn't want to hear, but I was just like, eh, I don't know. Like she would tell me like she was the first one to be like, my birth certificate got stolen. She was like racist, motherfuckers. Like. And I was like, what? Why? I'm like, it's my birth certificate. Who cares? And she was like, she was like, she was like, nah, baby, you don't understand. She was like, she's like, they chose you out of all the motherfuckers up there. Like everybody birth certificate, they have to show proof of their age and yours ends up ends up fucking missing. I fucking I got I got kicked out of a game in Little League. I got kicked out for after I hit the ball, tossing my bat towards the dugout, which everyone did. I got kicked out for it though. Meanwhile, the other team was throwing the bats towards like us. Like, I'm like, uh, on my teammates pitching. They would throw it, like, outwards. But I got kicked out, right? Goes back to the shit I'm talking about, right? Fucking Bancroft almost got off. Fuck, I was like, Bancroft? So, <laughs> my middle Sorry, school, yeah. my middle school, I almost got expelled because one of my friends did some bullshit, lied and said I did it. This white uh, assistant principal or whatever. Mm-hmm. And the whole white fucking staff or whatever were like so enraged that they just didn't even look at the cameras or in the locker room from what he did. And because he said my first name and using a fucking different last name and whatever, they tried to get me fucking expelled. He had already had all the paperwork. I was done at that school. All, all, all he needed was all my teachers to fucking sign off on it. All my minority teachers didn't sign off on the shit. I had Mr. Vo, Miss Din, uh, I think another Hispanic teacher, and then I had Miss Batista too. But in Miss Miss fucking Batista's defense, she married an Asian, so she was white. But she had some soul to her, and I love her. <laughs> um, so like, you know what I mean? Like, but this white man wanted my ass, <laughs> right? You know what I mean? This is what, again now I'm like, oh, this is racism. Of course, going to Bancroft also was around white people for the first time, and it was super racist. Super right? shocking, man. Super shockingly yeah. racist. Um, 
And I had to, you know, come to grips with that, right? So it wasn't until I was like 20 where I was like, okay, cool. I understand that I'm black. I understand that people are afraid of me for this, this, and this reason. I can either A, fucking choose to ignore it and try to live my life as like, no, I'm an upstanding citizen. Or B, I can realize that I'm black and say, you know what, fuck it. I'm going to try to help my people and help my family and try to fucking do what I can to help other black people and other minorities because at the end of the day, we all fucked when it comes to white people, right? I chose the latter. Some people don't do that. Some people will continue to go on and be like, nah, there's nothing, you know, there is no, like, racism. I don't believe in that shit. My sister, for one of those people, she's one of those people. My older sister, um, she doesn't believe a lot of the things that happens, even when it happens to, like, me. She just won't believe it. For her, right. it's like, it's just strange coincidences or instances of, like, bad luck. It's not clearly what the fuck it is, right? right. She doesn't want to believe it. Because for her, she's always been like, again, I also get it. She's all she's always been the girl who's been liked. And I was like, you also portray an image of someone who is not from where you're from. So they don't know. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, so when it comes to like the Kanye's, the Daniel Caesars and shit, we gotta let those people go. Even, even I'm, I'm as far as taking it to my sister, too. I'll let my sister go. <laughs> like, if she was like, you know what? If it's like some sort of like fucking, all right, look. We on this side. Either you're going to be on this side or you're going to be on the outskirts of this shit and be like with them. She's like, oh, I'm going to be with them. Cool. I'm not going to save you. Because if we're going to get what we got to get, we got to stop trying to fucking uh, forgive and change niggas. Because that's, that's all we do. That's all we fucking do. All year. A nigga say some wild shit, or it's clear that he is not with the team, all right? This so it, it only in cases like what, what these people said. Like, it has to be that blatant. No, it doesn't. It doesn't have to be that blatant? No, because I, I, I completely feel like there is complete moles and, like, double agents in all this shit. And pe- people just don't want to fucking say it. But there is. Okay, just from a scale from what we were talking about earlier. A scale from... Gambino just hiding the fact that his his girl happens to be whatever she is, mm-hmm. uh, to what Daniel Caesar just did from like that scale. Like, what? Where does it like you let him go? Caesar's clearly gone. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Me personally, I'm keeping Gambino. Me yeah. personally, but of course, if it's a vote, he probably won't. He probably won't get on the bo- fucking boat. He's probably gone. Yeah. If it's a vote, if it's a vote, and it's like. Mind you, now it's been some time, mm-hmm. so people probably done forgot about the shit. Back when it first happened, if they said vote, that nigga was off the boat. Damn. He was off the boat. Just for that, huh? And that's the bullshit of all this shit, yeah. right? Because this is why we can never like centralize anything when it comes to being black and being trying to get something focused and get something initiated because there is a sector of the black people who are like extra black, right? Them niggas is like, nah, fuck that, fuck this. I don't fuck with nothing that ain't black. I don't, I fucking buy black, I bank black, I fucking school black. And it's like, cool, all right? That's fine. The fucking killer mics of the world, right? That's yeah. fine. That's awesome, okay? And, but then they turn their nose up to other black people who are like, all right, I'm with it. But hey, you know, I got some white friends, you know, whatever. Or like, I grew up with some people or whatever. And they're like, nah, fuck that. You got to only be with us. Now it's a separation. Some people yeah. are like, nigga, my wife is white. What the fuck you talking about? Whatever. Like, nah, I can't be with the bitch. Whoa, wait a minute. 